So mobile apps and mobile devices are overtaking uh, the search and the, the usage of the internet these days. This report, probably by the time you're watching this video, is, is quite old from CNN, talking about how mobile apps and mobile devices are overtaking the traditional desktop website or desktop usage of the internet. And so having a mobile responsive website is now becoming a critical thing. And Google actually favors websites now that are mobile responsive. And in their mobile search results, they actually won't even show websites that are not mobile responsive. So how do you know if your website is mobile friendly or mobile responsive? Um, first of all, you can use Google's free tool. They have a mobile friendly test. Um, you can just search Google mobile friendly test or Google developers test and you'll get this page where you can type in your website URL or individual pages on your website and it'll analyze them for you and it'll show you if your website's responsive. So I often check a lot of client sites, I check my own site here and this will show you what needs to be fixed and why it does or does not pass the test. So that's the first thing just to figure out if it's mobile friendly. If it's not mobile friendly you have a couple options. The number one option is to redesign and rebuild your site so that it is mobile friendly. And what does that actually mean? So for instance, we're just going to use my site as an example. Um, my Tech Diva Media website, if I shrink the size of the screen down, notice how the content adapts. And so now the content is in this sort of column display and it's called a liquid design or responsive design. So the content adapts as the screen size changes. So if you have um, a, a phone or an iPad and you're viewing the site, it's going to display to fit your screen. Notice how my content shrinks and the text shrinks. That means it's mobile responsive. And so it's a really quick indicator to figure out if your website's mobile responsive or not. So if your site's not mobile responsive, the number one thing is to rebuild it. Because most of the time, if your site's old and it's not responsive, it was built before the responsive code frameworks came out. So before responsive code was kind of invented. So in order to update your site, it's way easier to actually just rebuild it rather than trying to kind of like duct tape and hangers, as you might call it, fix the old site because it's like trying to put something on the old site that the old site just doesn't even have in its existence. It's like hardware that the site doesn't even have. You're trying to make it use. So there are a couple solutions though in the interim, especially if you have a WordPress site. Now if you have an HTML or a static site, uh, sometimes you can find a developer that can just add some uh, code, some CSS code to make your site display differently on different forms of media. Um, and if you have a WordPress site, you can use a couple plugins. The most popular one is the WP Touch plugin. Um, this has got like 5.5 million blogs have WP Touch installed on it. Basically, you install it and you activate it, and then you sort of customize it so it displays a mobile version of your site when people are accessing your site on mobile, and it displays your regular desktop version when they're on their desktop. So this is a great solution. It's about 50 bucks, um, and then they have other extensions and other things you can add on to it. It can work awesome. It also sometimes takes some time to customize it to make sure it looks right, and sometimes it kind of just doesn't work. It just depends on your site. So I would say this is probably one of the best places to go first is a WP Touch plugin for 50 bucks if you have a WordPress site that's not responsive. There's also the WordPress mobile detector. Um, and this one, the premium version is around 50 bucks, the Mobile Detector Pro. And this shows you where your audience is coming from for your website. So they might be coming and accessing your site from a mobile device, or they might be accessing it from their desktop. And this will show you where they're coming from, and then you can customize the site depending on where they're coming from um, with the different templates they have. So this can also be useful just to get those statistics and that data to be able to analyze what you should do. Um, as you can see, it's kind of got mixed reviews, so I would I haven't actually used this um, in the past. I usually use other tools or I just rebuild sites. So I don't have personal familiarity with it. Um, but you can check it out if you search the WordPress.org um, plugin library 
and search WP Mobile Detector, and you can read about the description of it and the reviews to see if this might be something that's useful for you. And finally, another one that I, I would suggest checking out is the WordPress Mobile Pack. This one also has a premium version and it has a free version, and it's similar to WP Touch in that it gives you um, a, a mobile version of your site and it has a bunch of templates you can use to customize it, um, a bunch of themes basically. And then if you buy the premium version, which ends up being about seven bucks a month or eight bucks a month for their lowest subscription package from apticals.com. If you buy that, you get more customization options. So there are a few solutions in the interim if you want to try to use a plugin, especially if you have a WordPress site, to be able to make your site mobile friendly. And that might work for you, um, and that may be fine. If you have an HTML or a static site, you're going to need to get some extra coding, some extra CSS coding added to your site, and it may or may not be possible to fix it. So ultimately, by the time you would spend in either fixing your CSS or getting some sort of plugin for your website and trying to configure it, you might as well just go ahead and get a new website. But again, it probably depends on a case-by-case -case basis. But these are some options if you're, if you're trying to figure it out. And again, the tool you can use is Google... Google's webmaster tool called the Mobile Friendly Test, and you can just go and search Google Mobile Friendly Test, and you can find this out and figure out if your site's mobile responsive. Hope this helped. Check out my other videos on my channel or visit my blog at techdivamedia.com to see other tutorials and other resources for figuring out all this tech stuff.